Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, today we're going to talk about three short uh, comic book stories from the Star Wars Tales comic book series. <sighs> Remember the good old days when I was reviewing the Jedi Prince series? And now it's come to this. The first story was written by Lucas Maringon and it is in Star Wars Tales number 22. It's called Maroon. Now this happens after a year after Return of the Jedi and there is a uh, scout trooper who has been lost this whole time and he didn't even know who won the war. And so he's trying to figure out what happened and he finds out that the rebellion won and the Empire's on the, you know, on the run and you know, he doesn't want to live in a world, he decides, that's run by the rebellion, so he decides just to camp out on Endor. Um, really hate this story, really thought it was stupid in a way. Um, uh, Scout Trooper on his own, there, there is another story of a lost uh, trooper or imperial that we'll talk about way later and I'll tell you the difference uh, well I'll do it right now there's a TIE fighter pilot also that's lost on Yavin and he's lost on there for like 20 years I think what, what was his deal well to be honest he got shot down on the other side of the planet uh, but it, it feels like the scout trooper wasn't that far away from the battle scene so what took him a year? Now, of course, the rebellion probably didn't scout out the rest of the forest for hidden Imperials. They thought, well, maybe they'll pop up and the you know Ewoks will eat them because that's what they do. And I, I don't know. For me, it just felt kind of uh, I, I wasn't interested. I mean, I was happy to see Ewoks. Ewoks are in this, yay! But then I kind of read what story it was, and you know, he decides to live on Endor, and I'm like, uh -huh, okay, I guess it just didn't make as much sense as a Tie Fighter getting shot down on the other side of the planet where, where he's way out of the uh, war and doesn't even know what happened, doesn't even know when he's going to get picked up, that seems more believable than someone who was a, uh, uh, maybe his speeder bike zoomed off. They really don't tell where he was or how far away he was, but he couldn't have been that far away from the battle unless he was a coward and ran away. But anyway, that's, that's, the, that's the story. The next story is from Star Wars Tales number five. It's called Lando's Commandos. It's written by Ian Edgington. And this one, the New Republic asked Lando uh, to help him deal, they call him into service to help him deal with some pirates. Because, hey, it takes a pirate to catch a pirate, right? And Lando's done some work with them. This is shortly after Jedi, so he's, can, he's still General Calrissian. And so they enlist him to do this one job for them. Now, Lando is a businessman. He only helped the rebellion out because it was in his interest, but he kind of wants to part from the rebellion at this part and, uh, at this point and go on his own little adventure quest. But he's happy to help the rebellion still. He's being nice with them. And so he teams up, gets a group of people, and they go after the pirates. And of course, Lando uses his wit and cunning to uh, out, outwit the pirates and defeat them. Um, it's a Lando story. It's fine. It's a tale story, so it's okay. You know, um, again, Lando, I think, is a very underutilized character, so whenever he pops up, I'm, I'm happy to see him regardless. I just wish they would have given him more. I think something like that would have made an interesting book as well. Uh, if you think about it, they keep saying, oh, we're making books about the big three, and they, a uh, Luke book, a Han book, and a Leia book. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know what? You should include Lando in that because. I would love to see, besides the Lando Calrissian trilogy, which I thought was fantastic, I would love to see more books centered around Lando, but I, I don't know why there was a lack of interest in doing so. Now the last one, it feels like I've talked about this, but when I look back through my notes, I can't find where and when. And regardless, it seems like it fits more here than it did in the past before then, because I gave it another look, I said, oh, it fits right here. So if I've mentioned this before, my apologies. But it's uh, written by Andy Watson, and it's called The One That Got Away. And this is from Star Wars Tales number eight. Now this is an escaped slave from uh, Jabba's palace who is recounting how she escaped, you know, a year or so later. And she recalls that someone helped her out, and of course it's Lando disguised as a skiff guard. And I remember telling this story before, and there, I mean, hey, he may have you know, freed several slaves. There may have been multiple stories about this. But she's recounting how she did that and all the nasty things that, you know, she had to clean the hut, you know, job and everything. And so now she's coming out with her own, I think, book or set of lectures about, you know, her time with the xenology of the huts or whatever. And so this is her story about how she got away. Yeah, okay. All right, it's there. Thank you, Tails. All right, folks, that is it. Very short one today, but that's really all I had to talk about. See you next time with another video.